hello everyone welcome back to another video today i have here with me the samsung galaxy j7 neo my device is currently running android 8.0 and as you can see i am currently on the verify your account screen of also known as google factory reset protection and you know this happens when you wipe your android device and you perhaps forgot your google account and now you cannot get into the device so i am going to show you guys how to bypass this so the method that we'll be using today is called the talkback method where you would switch on the voiceover which you would be using to try to get into the youtube app where i posted a few links that you'll be using to in order to get this bypassed so without any further ado let's get started So first of all what you want to do is press your home button about three times and then you should be able to hear feedback saying talk back on so you see that message here uh, talk back okay let me try to switch up the media volume a bit so that you can hear I know it's annoying but I'm going to do it for the sake of the video okay so with talkback being turned on what you want to do now is go into talkback settings so what you're going to do with using your, your finger you do the uppercase l motion so you go like this on your screen so you do a l motion like this and you select talkback settings okay now what you want to do is scroll down um you go to setup switch access for android and then you select learn how to set up switch access and now you see this youtube link here you tap on it and then it should ask you to open the youtube app so tap on there again and select click here so now what we're going to do let's turn off voiceover so press your home button three times again and now you're going to tap so now we do not have the annoying talkback message let's close this video and now we're going to search for my channel so of course Pops Productions Tech I have it up here already Pops Productions Tech and you're going to select my channel you go to community tab and you select this new post that I have up here you select it and here's the link you just tap simply on the link samsung internet opens you select start all right no we don't want to update currently let's allow the link to open up now we're going to select open in browser all right let me just show you the files listed so you can see the google account manager for android 8.0 and the quick shortcut maker and also samsung google bypass so we're going to download and install all three of these apps so first we're going to download the samsung google bypass so there's a reason for the apps that we install download and install so we start with this one at first so we're going to select download and we're going to select open file when the download is complete If you weren't able to tap on this message, you just go over to bookmarks, history, and you select your download history, and here's the file, so you just going to simply select it, go over to settings, allow from this source, and go back and install. Now, you do not need to watch the app install itself, so just select done, you go back again, go back again, and now you're going to select the google account manager so you download it select save file of course download again let's go over to bookmarks history download history and select the google account manager sorry google account manager and install all right so it's successfully installed uh, go back now 
and we're going to install one more app which is Quick Shortcut Maker. So you're going to download very small file and you're going to save, download. Now you go over bookmarks again, history, download history, and you select it, install. And as soon as it's done, what we're going to do is we're going to select open. Nice. And um, let this apps populate and now you're going to scroll down and you're going to select Google so under Google you look for Google account manager and you're going to oops let me go back here okay. um, so here under Google account manager let me tap on it again you're going to look for type email and password so you can see right here type email and password you select this and select try now you're going to select the three dots up here, browser sign in, and select OK. And now you'll be able to sign in through your web browser, so whatever Google account that you want to sign in with, you sign in through it here, or you can create an account. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to type in my account up here. So I am now about to log in, so sign in here. Alright, so it's signing in. Okay. And it shows that it's done, so I guess it should be done by now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to go all the way back to our setup wizard. So we have to keep on tapping back as until we get there. So let's go back. Okay, checking in for next. Okay, let's allow this to complete. Okay, account added. As you can see, the account up here. And now you're going to select next. So you can see it was very very simple, no backups found. So let's just skip this and um, not going to set up a password right now. It's all that is up to you. I'm not going to set up the Google Assistant and agree with this. Okay. Adding a few finishing touches. Okay, skip. Skip as well. Okay, now you tap finish. All done, your phone is ready to use. Okay, done. Um, so you can see now that we're on our home screen, so we have successfully bypassed the FRP lock. Alright, so we have come to the end of this video, guys. I really hope I helped you out. If I did, be sure to hit thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it really helps, and share the video with others, it really helps out. Also, you can donate to the channel by clicking on the PayPal link in the description. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And of course, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comment section or via my website. So, see you guys in another video.